Luca, uh, he came in your last season. Um, extremely talented. We talked about off camera. Jack said, "Did you see this?" You're like, "I don't know if we saw it to this extent, but he's been special." Um, what is your relationship with him like, and what it, what it, how's it been just being able to see him play night in, night out? Yeah, so when once we uh, my the, my inner career wasn't pretty, you know, we were struggling. There was uh, some talk of tanking going on, and you know, just things didn't go well here for this franchise, and uh, and we we needed a little spark plug to to, to change things, and, uh, and and here we, I didn't I didn't think there was going to be this kid. Uh, I didn't think <laughs> it was going to be this kid when he walked in the first time here in this practice facility. You know, he looked at he's sick. He's a big boy, but I'm like, ah, I'm not sure this is going to work. Is he quick enough? Is he athletic enough to go by guys like he is in Europe? And so there were there were plenty of doubts there from from everybody on the team. And you know how you meet already before training camp starts. Uh, you know, you meet a month before and you hoop every day and you work out together. And so guys were test trying to test him a little bit and you know foul him a little bit here and there and in their scrimmages and. And you can already see that you know, this kid's got something about him. He's got that mm -hmm. swag. He knows how to play. He was he was getting us some N one mixtape passes out of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he was he was flashing some of the, the the talent. So we were we were we were thinking, man, he's he's going to be a really good player. Mm. But uh, I didn't think he was going to go to that level. <laughs> the pass, mean, right? I mean, he's the couple. Yeah, I think it was last season or the season before. He averaged triple double for an entire month. I mean. I didn't see that coming. So in my first year, unfortunately, my last my last year, his first year, I was I was hurt a lot. I missed the first 30, 40 games. So I didn't really get to spend, you know, I didn't even go on road trips the first couple months. So uh, that was a little tough. I didn't really get to spend as much time around him as I wanted to. But uh, I mean, that was his time to shine. You know, we, we looked to him and uh, he, he, you know, he took the took the ball and took it from there. And yeah, just really proud of how he developed. And my role with him, I guess we're, we're friends, we're, we're cool, we're, you know, when I'm town, we go to dinners or whatever, a mentor would be a little strong because he, mm -hmm. he doesn't really need me. I mean, he's, he's as you guys see, he's, he plays like a 32-year-old veteran, mm -hmm. how he reads the game, how, how he carries himself on the court. And uh, I mean, I didn't really, uh, I wish I would love to say I helped him and, and talked to him <laughs> about it, but it's just the guy just came. He's been a pro since he's like 11 years old. And, and he, that's how he plays <laughs> right. the game. Like there is nothing can rattle him during the game. And he just does his thing. And, and, and so his, his development has been incredible. And I didn't think he could get better from year to year, but he's, he's still showing it. And uh, I'm super happy for him. Mm.